guys this is 3d cube blender india today we are going to learn about dense human shape smoke simulation i'm using blender 2.83 which can be downloaded for free from the blender's website so let's first see how to just simply apply a quick effect or a quick smoke effect to any object we have the default cube over here in the viewport i'll just scale it down as you can see there are different options like quick fur, quick explode, quick smoke, quick liquid. So we need to click on quick smoke to have a quick smoke simulation to the object. Let's see. You can see how the smoke is added to the cube. So the animation that I made, I used a character from Mixamo, which is a free site from where you can download characters which are already rigged and you can you have different options to download it according to your needs so there are different characters so let's go through it uh, i have used this mannequin character and find different animation i will type in walk and then scroll down and select catwalk yeah Let's click on download. After clicking on download, you will have a pop-up window which will ask you to select this directory in which you want to save the file. The file will be saved uh, as fpx, .fpx which is supported in Blender. Once the file gets downloaded, come back to Blender, go to file, import then import dot fpx you will find it there go to the directory where you save the file then import it character you downloaded is now in your viewport if you press the play button it will show how it is already rigged animated and you can just easily use these character to your projects now select this character and go to the object as we did to the cube we will add a quick effect to this character too now from object go to the quick effect option and select quick smoke you can see the smoke is already been added to the character now we need to save the file guys to remember to save the files the character is now your flow object and the box which is made around it is the domain if you see the smoke is already added to the character but the smoke is going upwards we just want the smoke to come downwards now select the character and go to physics properties over here you have to just change two settings the rest you have to leave it. go to the initial temperature and give it a value of minus one and in sampling give it a value of one now if you play the animation you will see the smoke is now going downwards by selecting the domain, we have to come down to the beyond C set and we have to give it a value of minus 0 0.00100 and heat, we have to leave it to 1. Make sure we have checked the adaptive domain and also the dissolve. Over here in dissolve, time is in default, it's given as 5. So you have to change it to 30 also make sure in the dissolve the slow is checked now let's add a cube for the flow from which the smoke will collide place it where you want to by selecting the flow go to fluid and select the type 2 vector rest you have to just leave it
in the catch setting do see the frame start and end of domain that it is set to 50 to make it 100 so that you will get a longer simulation while you bake it select the type to final and click on bake once baked you can see the smoke coming down very well colliding with the flow and also when you go to the render view port the smoke doesn't look good once we go to render view so we need to check we are in EV or cycles we are going to make the render engine to cycles now when we see the smoke is not really looking that good needs to be getting more detailed so what we can do we need to go to the physics setting again selecting the domain and we need to increase the resolution division so that we can get more detailed resolution division i'm going to set it to 2200 by increasing the resolution division we can see the baking we have a human shape smoke but it's not visible that much that's because we have not added a light so i'm going to add a plane scale it up and then give it a material of emission uh, you can select any color i'm going to select this for this tutorial and give it a strength of 7 now if you have seen my animation the character which we used is not visible in the final render so you have option in the collections that you can hide any object from rend getting rendered so we will uncheck that for placing the camera i will come in the front of the simulation and press ctrl alt 0 this will place the camera in front of the simulation and this is how it will look after doing that you can see the density of the smoke is not that much to achieve that we need to go to shading and this node system you need to go to density and increase the density to 40 now if we come back to the viewport we can see it is more dense if you see in the final render i have used some more light which gives the simulation a yellowish color from the back so i will add a spotlight and scale it down grab it to the z axis rotate it and place it at the back of the simulation i will give it a yellow yellowish color and with power of 5000 watt So these settings did work for me and uh, I hope you will try it by yourself. If you have any problem please do ask me in the comment section. As this is my first video I might have skipped a lot of things. Thank you for watching.